fancy to play a little bit of uh, Campbell and Gap for you. <laughs> What got me interested in the music, uh, my, my dad and my wife's dad both was tobacco farmers. We was, uh, me and my cousin, second cousin actually, was uh, bringing a load of tobacco to the local to warehouse here in Mount Airy on Saturday morning. And we had started back home and the merry-go-round was playing from WPAQ and Tommy Gerald, which I didn't know who he was then, was, was playing. And a good, good Saturday morning to all you folks listening over the airwaves here on the Voice of the Blue Ridge, WPAQ. Tune in for another edition of the Saturday Morning Merry-Go-Round. Help me make welcome to the stage one of the finest in old-time music, the Slate Mountain Ramblers. All right, thank you very much, Jim. And I thought, well, that's the prettiest music I'd ever listened to, you know, him playing. And I told my cousin, I said, uh, you know, we'd listen to it as we was going back home. And I said, I believe I could play a fiddle like that if I you know, had one and not knowing, he said, well, we'll just see, I got one at the house. So he goes upstairs and gets that thing out from under the bed. And it probably had a quarter of an inch of dust on the case where it had been crammed on the bed for so many years. And I brought it onto the house, but it only had three strings on it. It didn't have a G string on it. From Saturday till the next Saturday, I went back over there and I get the fiddle case out from the back of the truck and here I go towards your house and he's just sitting up on the porch and he said, how you doing with your fiddle playing? And I said, well, get your guitar and we'll see. It was. <laughs> that was one of the Kimball's tunes that they did that nobody else did.